Hey, it's Savvy Nick, and today we'll be exploring the top 10 updates made to Debian 10 Buster. Please make sure to like if you find the information useful, and let's get started. So number one, the UEFI Secure Boot has been enabled by default. This is a verification mechanism to make sure the computer's firmware is trusted. It is designed to protect a computer at boot from malicious firmware. This is now enabled again by default with the computers that support it. Number two, App Armor enabled per default. App Armor is an application security system that protects the operating system from threats by managing security policies and privileges of other installed applications. Number three, unattended upgrades for stable point releases. Unintended upgrades only used to upgrade anything from the security suite and now in Debian 10 Buster, it will also automate upgrading to the latest stable point release by default. Number four, network filtering based on NF tables framework by default. The network filtering is now based on the NF tables framework. So you might see changes in commands such as IP tables, IP6 tables, ARP tables, and EA tables. Number five, driverless printing. This one's an exciting one. So now you have driverless printing, but the only catch is that a network printer must offer the air print service in order to be able to use the driverless manner. This service applies to most modern printers. Number six, merged user on fresh installs. The bin, sbin, and lib directories have now changed their locations. They are now located under user slash bin, user slash sbin, and user slash lib. Number seven, the GNOME desktop environment defaults to Wayland. GNOME in Buster defaults to using the Wayland display driver instead of Xorg. Wayland has a simpler and more modern design which has advantages for security and is why it's used now. Number eight, Debian Med Blend. The Debian Med team has added several new packages to Debian 10. These will help software developers that are working on developing life sciences and medicine applications. Number nine, basic support for all winner A64 based devices. All winner are ARM based system on computers that allow you to utilize Debian as a base platform and are now provided with some basic support from the Debian community. Number 10, improve man pages for German speaking users. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but is great nonetheless, because German speaking users will be able to engage more with the Debian system and community. For more information on updates in the official list, I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description below. Which one of these updates are you most excited about? Comment below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.